Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Friday. It's been a couple of weeks. I got a little bit slack and didn't record any videos, but I'm back. I'm here. And, uh, if this is a giveaway, then you all know what's going to come over the next five weeks. So, <laughs> we're going to start with the one, the only, toilet paper head wrapped bounty hunter. It is Dengar. Dengar. No, just, just thinking, like, about Dengar and, um, you know, Blast Points podcast. Shout out to Jason and Gabe. Legends. I've got their stickers on the table here. This one there. This is Blast Points Army. And their uh, Rick Oley sticker there. Awesome stuff. They recently did a full week of podcasts based on Dengar. Called a Seven Days of Dengar. And uh, that's worth every minute of your time. <laughs> every single minute. It was fantastic. And uh, yeah, definitely sort of inspired me to kick off the uh, Bounty Hunters of Power of the Force and we're going to count down till you know nearly nearly time for the Book of Boba Fett I know I haven't timed it out right because it's more than six weeks away but um yeah we're gonna make our way through the Power of the Force Bounty Hunters might even just slot a couple of random ones in the middle there why not so yeah Dengar this is cool I like Dengar a lot Big fan. He's had some cooler figures, better figures come out in recent years. Um, I feel, still think 2010's Vintage Collection Dengar is fantastic. And uh, the Black Series Dengar is still one of the best in the entire line, in my opinion. But this one is pretty good. I like It's a great likeness. I love the head sculpt. I think it looks fantastic. I think he had sort of a little bit more of his sort of face covered up in the in the film, but that's okay. He's got his rifle there. I don't think that's the exact one he came with, but pretty much the same thing. Sure, maybe it is. A lot of my Power of the Force figures don't have the correct accessories, but that's okay. They never did when I was a kid anyway. And some of those weapons they came with were just downright ridiculous anyway, so it didn't really matter. But yeah, I've always liked Dengar's sort of, yeah, he's a little bit of cobbled together sort of armor. You know, like on the Black Series one, they sort of accurately had the sort of shoulder armor sort of half hanging down his arm. Well, I'm pretty sure they did that in the uh, TVC one as well. To think of oh, Dengar made it all the way through to Star Wars Episode 9. Granted, he didn't look the same, he was a little bit messed up. Rothgar Deng, he became known as. Uh, cybernetic really replaced most of his body so he could continue working. Can't think of anything worse than having to work forever. I don't want to work forever. I enjoy my job, but I, yeah, definitely don't want to work forever. You know, if it, you know, it's it's like the old saying: if you if you enjoy your work, it's not really a job. You know, it's just something you do for money. It's it's fun having fun for money, and uh, you know, maybe Dengar likes bounty hunting. Maybe that's his maybe that's his life calling: is bounty hunting. Uh, Dengar had a pretty important role back in the expanded universe. He was the one that nursed Boba Fett back to health when he got out of the Sarlacc. So we'll see if uh, Dengar has a bigger part to play come time for Book of Boba Fett. Do you think he'll make an appearance? I hope so. I hope so. Do you get... Do you get Simon Pegg to come in and play Dengar? Give it being that he uh, did his voice in The Clone Wars. A younger Dengar we do that or do we do we cast him with a similar look-alike from uh, Empire Strikes Back do you know a little bit of prosthetic makeup you could probably nail that pretty pretty easily to be honest so you could use Simon Pegg I 
I know uh, Simon Pegg hasn't been the most friendly character towards Star Wars in the past, but um, you know, he came in for episode seven, did Ankar Plot, and uh, yeah, did Dengar's voice in the Clone Wars, so you know, he, he, he could probably fill the void, fill the spot. Everyone is redeemable. You know, I think I think most people have said a bad word about Star Wars at some point in their life. Not me. <laughs> no, I have. We, we don't love. I don't love everything. I love a lot. I love ninety percent of Star Wars. Probably ninety nine point nine percent. But uh, yeah, there are some of the bits I don't love. It's not all perfect. But it is my escape. And now I'm rambling, and I should be talking about Dengar. But what else is there to say? You know, his name is... You know, you jumble around the letters of his name, and uh, it spells danger. It spells danger. Who would have thought? Alright, folks. Let's come back again next week for another Bounty Hunter. We're going to tackle this. We're going to run all the way home through to the end of 2021 covering some bouncy hunters. So thank you all so much for tuning in for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. It's an honor to be back. It's an honor to have you watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all that cool stuff. And I will see you all next week for episode Power of the Force Friday. And stay tuned for all the other videos that drop in between. Power of the Force Fridays. Thanks, guys. May the Force be with you, always.